Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here. Are the 82,000 sealed indictments a fake or are they real? Are they made up? Are they a ruse from the deep state to make us feel good that something's being done? I'll let you judge for yourself online. From Q, QAnon, let's pronounce it right, Jim. Otherwise, you'll be corrected if you say QAnon or QAnon. It's QAnon, <laughs> as in anonymous. Okay, so here's the thing. We have a chart here, of, and it's kind of blurry. All right, to start off with. It's kind of blurry, right? And we see all the most sealed indictments, obviously, is right here in California, divided in three areas, eastern, northern, and southern. We see, I don't know, approximately, uh, yeah, about 13,000 sealed indictments. Over here where I live in Georgia, there's 387. If you count them up, I think that's 387, 220, and one, I uh, can't see that, it's so small, 167, yeah, 387. Okay, you know, and so you can compare, but California beats them all, and guess who's number two? Texas. Now, this is just an outline. Okay, so are they fake? I don't know. What do you think? From the Google Drive, the 82,000 share from Q and on. I've showed this before when it was way down around 60,000 about a year ago or 50,000, something like that. Okay, and I showed this before, you know, and I'll give you the link to this, of course, down below in the description box. You open them all up. Okay, now you can, uh, they're named by the first one is Alaska, AK, Alabama. And, you know, you just go down here to California Eastern, California Central, California Northern, California Southern. There's like 13,000 of them. And uh, I think I was in this one. No. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so this is California Central. Okay, just take a look at this for a second. It tells you where... Notes, Division, Los Angeles. Okay, it says, case has been reopened 1-30-2018. We know that there's 40 people at Gitmo that are not officially tried or anything, but are being asked questions. We know that David Zublick keeps talking about how Obama has turned states evidence, how and had squealed and oh bush uh the second i think he's the 43rd president has squealed too now you can throw that all in the garbage and just ignore it but you can't ignore all this proof online Eighty-two thousand now sealed indictments it's just growing and growing and growing okay but what do we see right here it's been reopened in 2018 didn't Donald Trump make a promise is, is that seven years of statutes is not gonna apply in this when it comes to treason racketeering to child trafficking to treason sedition any foreign enemies whatever in the whole world but this is just the US and here we see it says case filed 2016 of July reopened. Now you can go through all these and then you can click right on them, the person, the file, everything. Okay, you click on this and what does it do? Well, it opens up this just Central District of California fil filer or pacer login. Okay. But anyway, this is the criminal cases report. This was provided by people who have been researching all this. They made all this out, okay? This is not the official report, okay? They're sealed. 
you're not going to find all the proof. But, you know, you can always go over here and say, is Western Division of Los Angeles fake? Google it. Google a presider, S. James Otero. Is he real? Google John F. Walter. Is he re re real? You see, all these people in the case, the attorneys, the lawyers, the, the ones who filed it, see if they're real. Do the no work yourself. To be honest with you, it's all real. It ain't no fake, folks. And it all started after Trump became president in 2000. I think it started in 2000. I forgot if it was 16 or 17. Actually, it says it right here. It says it right here at the top. Yeah, right here. 10-30-2017 is the first time this all started. There must have been 10 sealed or 50, maybe 100 or so. All of a sudden, now they're in a, a year's and a half time, approximately less than a year and a half, 82,000. Now, to finish up this report, now I'm going to show you the difference, just one little tiny difference between the KJV and the NKJV. Now, what's the biggest thing that everyone says about the NKJV, the New King James Version Bible, versus the KJV? It's easier to understand. The old words have been taken out, but that's a lie because actually the old words, archaic words, were the J wasn't even there. That's right. That's right. The J wasn't even there in our vocabulary. That's not what it's talking about. It's talking about the 11 words of ye, thou, and nine others. Okay, I can't remember them all. Okay, which actually provide a far better description. If you just educate yourself a little bit. Okay, but. Remember, the foundation of why people read the AK NKJV, because they believe in the KJV, but it's easier to understand the KJ NKJV, right? That is the foundation, number one reason why everyone buys an NKJV. Really? Is it really easier? I'm going to give you just one little example. Okay. The face of evil is described in Revelation 17.5 in the KJV. 17.5 says, And upon her forehead was a name written. All capitals, right? Why would the KJV write all capitals? Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. But let's go over to the fa another face of evil. The beast. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score six. Now, then you have people that say, "Oh, you're into numerology, Jim. Oh, that's evil. We don't do that, right?" Right. That's why God said through John the Apostle, "Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count." Well, I've already given you the understanding that this 603 score 6 right here is 666, obviously. But it stands for three separate entities, 666. And 6 is the number of a lost soul, right? I've taught you that over and over. And that this stands for the unholy trinity, the false prophet, the antichrist, and Satan, who is the father of the trinity like our father in heaven is the father of the holy trinity but the unholy triune or unholy trinity of satan 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 is the father of it the antichrist is the man out of the world and the false prophet is a man out of the world but the holy triune god that we believe in are none of men out of this world even Satan is called only a man in Ezekiel 28. All three are men. 
even though Satan was, which is Lucifer, created in the mountain of God, he is only a man. Why? Because the number of a man is a lost soul. Adam was created on the sixth day. That's, that's biblical numerology right there. Okay, now, you go over to Revelation, back to Revelation 17, 5. And remember I said it's the face of evil, right? Mystery Babylon, the grave, the mother of harlots, and abominations of the earth. Count them. There's 13 words there. Oh, that doesn't mean nothing, Jim. Really? The Antichrist is revealed in Revelation 6. The end of the Antichrist and the false prophet are thrown into the lake of fire in Revelation 19. Right here at the end. Boom. So, they're done at 19. But their reign of terror is 6 through 18. Revealed in 6? Count them. How many are there? 13. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Isn't the isn't the two beasts of Revelation 13 in chapter 13? Yes. The man of sin or the son of perdition, the Antichrist, is the first one. And the second one that comes out of the pit of hell is Satan, who manifests himself in the flesh. Part of the unholy trinity, isn't it? And it's in Revelation 13. And there's nothing but the two beasts in Revelation 13. Because 13 is the number of rebellion or anti-God. Rebellion unto God. Rejects God and disobeys God 100%. Nothing about abominations, okay? Oh, well, let's go listen to the easy-to-understand Bible over here. Uh, just a second. The NKJV is much easier to understand. And on her forehead, a name was written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. It's simple. It says the same thing, Jim. Really? Well, I, I, I made it a little bit bigger for you over here. Count, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. The number of Satan rebellion, thirteen, has been taken off of the easier to understand. You see, they don't want you to know the real treasure trove of information from God's word. It's easier to understand. Remember that. I've said that like four times now, right? It's easier to understand. Well, why did I make it bigger? I'm going to show you it's the opposite of understanding. Okay, let's go to the Bible again. Revelation 17, 5. Look at this. It says, Mystery Babylon the Great the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now, you look at the perverted version. What does it say? Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. Well, that makes sense, Jim. No. Look closely. The two words are right here. And of. The. The den. The, or, uh, sorry, it's uh, of the. In the real Bible, it just says end abominations, right? Okay. Now look closely at this. It says end of the abominations of the earth, of the earth. If you know anything about grammar, you know that the is a definite article. It is a label on something certain, right? We are labeling, God is labeling it. It's, a, it's okay. It says the mar the the both Bibles say the mother of harlots. Then it says, and it adds of the here. 
In the real Bible, it doesn't say. It just says, and abominations of the earth. If the de definite article is here twice under the same thing, how much does that make sense? It has the definite article here and there and there. Why would you want to give the definite article of a certain name three times under three separate things, but they're not separate. They're all one. You see, God in the real wor word of God says the great, it says mystery of Babylon, the great. He's talking about she is great with wickedness. Then it says the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see, she is the mother of harlots, like as in Kamala Harris slept her way to the bottom, as Roseanne Barr said, and abominations of the earth. It says abominations of the earth, but the earth perish and goeth away in fervent heat. Second Peter 3, 10 and 12. You see, folks, why would you need to put end of the abominations? You don't, do you? In fact, it actually is a bunch of extra conjunctions and of the definite articles in there for no reason. No, it's a lie. It's not easier to understand. It actually takes out the biblical numeral of 13, rebellion and anti-God. Okay? Remember, I already taught you that in Revelation 18, Jesus, a saved soul, of course, will be in heaven with us, is labeled, whoops, Revelation 19, yeah. In verse 16 is labeled the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You notice we're talking about all capital words here, not just the start of the word. There are seven there, you see. King of kings and Lord of lords. Righteousness is seven. Evil is 13. The NKJV Bible had to take away the number of evil out of it by getting rid of the number 13. Thank you for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a very important announcement. Would you like to see most of your illnesses go away? Let me introduce you to the Water Smacker. A new modern breakthrough in science has come to knowledge ridding your body of many toxins through this state-of-the-art new technology. The testimonials are endless. People have been healed of shingles, pancreas survivor healed, colon cancer patient healed. Your skin returns its oil back to itself and elasticity. Gray hair goes away. Look younger. Red blood cells return to being round. Plaque in your arteries is wiped out, blood pressure is lowered, feel stronger, and have more energy. Return to a more youthful feeling and look. Pick up your water smacker today for only $350, and don't forget to mention Brother Jim sent you. The link is down below along with the website and other videos for a much longer description. Thank you.